on this episode of Crappy Kings Television. This week, from Lake Washington, in Mississippi, with my good buddy, crappy master, Tim Blackley. Any man. Come on here, Jimbo, get the deck on there. You know, we were looking for big fish and big bites, and that just goes along with catching big fish. You're yes, gonna sir. miss some of them. Yep. Oh, oh, look at here <laughs> what they got. That's one little one, two big ones. I'm getting my butt kicked, but I like it. I love Rocky. <laughs> Isn't that a plate? Yeah. And the excitement when you see that big thing, eh? Yeah. Starts thrashing on the surface and you think, oh my God, got to get him in. But sometimes it's worse trying to rush him, yeah. eh? Look at that crappie, eh? Well, we are Look at the belly on that fish, buddy. <laughs> Do you think Lake Washington's on fire oh, now? Oh man, I'd say. <laughs> I'm Carl Kowalka and this is my job traveling across North America in search of the best crappie holes while hooking up with some legendary crappie fishermen and a host of colorful characters along the way, visiting some distinctive destinations and having opportunity to sample some very unique culinary cuisine. This week, from Lake Washington in Mississippi, with my good buddy, crappy master, Tim Blackley, we're gonna look for some big whites out of bait and things. It's third week of March, and we got a cold front. How's that gonna affect the bite? You know what, they still bite. You just gotta put the right bait in the right spots with the right presentation and speed. You know, it's not science, but these guys know what they're doing. So let's get inside and meet some of the guys here that really know what's going on in Lake Washington so we can get keyed in on how to catch these crappie. I'm Mike Jones, owner of Bait and Things in Southern Star RV Park here on Lake Washington. Lake Washington is, is fast becoming one of the, the uh, best places to fish. Uh, here at Bait and Things, we, we have a full line of jigs. I've got Slater jigs, meat getter jigs, crappie logic jigs, Uncle Ted's jigs, several uh, individuals that, that uh, make their own hot ticket as we call them and I try to you know promote their their jigs and stuff we've got a big sele selection of poles we have cabins and stuff here that we rent as well as RV spots we've got a boat launch here it's right across from uh, the Cypress Swamp which is one of the uh, hot places to go fish we're almost in the middle of the lake the lake is 10 miles long about a mile and a quarter or so wide uh, it's 5,000 acres um, there's lots of piers and structures and stuff along the, the east and the west banks for people to uh, be able to fish around and uh, it's just it's a great place to come and, and crappie fish or catfish you can catch you know right at 100 pound catfish out here by hand grabbing uh, it's, it's just a, a great place to come and, and uh, you know bring your family and if you're an outdoorsman there's plenty for you to do uh, we try to accommodate all of our customers and stuff. If I don't have it in here, before you come out of the lake, we're gonna have it here for you. If we get all this put together, you know, temperature has really cooled off down here for Southern Mississippi. So I don't know really what to expect. I know they've been catching some giant fish here at Lake Washington, so maybe when the water warms up and the temperature warms up a little bit, we'll be able to hook up on some big ones, but we might have to change our tactics a little bit slow down since it's cooled up. We'll see, we'll see what the day brings. You know, Carl and I had plans to come to Mississippi to fish Grenada, and I called him about two weeks earlier and said, hey, you know, Lake Washington and Greenville, Mississippi is on fire. They're catching three pounders, catching big stringers there a lot. And uh, I asked him if he wanted to try to make that trip. He said, yes, let's make it happen. When Tim called me and told me about this new lake in Mississippi called Lake Washington, I thought, wow, I never even heard of it, never even saw it. No research, nothing on the internet but it did not disappoint. I saw some of the pictures at that small bait shop before we launched the boat. Phenomenal. I was really looking forward to it. We'll try different colors and we'll see which one they bite and then we can go to, you know, we figured out we'll go to one color. Right now we're, you know, it's early in the morning. We've had a cold front come through, so we're just kind of experimenting. See which one they want to bite. <laughs> oh, we got company. I see, he sees the boat. This is one of the most exciting times of the day for me, setting up. We're gonna catch big crappie, small crappie, 
any crappie, picking the right colors, the right bait, presentation. Put all the pieces together and hopefully by the end of the day, when we sit down for lunch or dinner, we got us a mess of crappie. But it's putting the pieces together to make a real good cake. And today, I want it to be my birthday cake. Big. Let's see. All set up. Baits are on, minnows are on, depths are arranged. It's time for the crappie to eat. Who's going to catch the first big slab? Me, me, me. <laughs> you know, we got to Lake Washington, was in pre-spawn. I knew the fish hadn't spawned yet. So, you know, we wasn't going to be fishing really shallow, like a foot or two. I knew we was going to back off, and we did. We, we started fishing, and we found the fish actually holding in about eight to nine foot of water. And once we really got concentrated in the area, about a hundred yard stretch where these big females were pre-spawn in a holding pattern, we really started catching some big ones. Oh, he's on there, dummy. Good one. Oh, boy. Good net. Oh, where's it? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, holy cow. Hey, <laughs> a good one. Look at that crappie, eh? Hey? That's what we're after Look right at there. Look at the belly on that fish, buddy. <laughs> okay, good slob, man. Let's get that hog in the net. <laughs> wow. He's got some girth and weight to him too. Yeah, look at that big fat belly. That's a big female. We'll take pictures of those and let them go. See, maybe look, after. she's got eggs coming out of her. Yeah. She's getting ready to lay. Wow. Pretty fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Pretty fish. Yeah. We're gonna put him in a live well for pictures, and then we're gonna put him back in a little bit. Sure is fun being out here in March, boy. Beautiful today. Yeah. The wind just wasn't blowing. It'd be really nice. Get him. Yeah. Oh, oh God. You know what you did? You buggy whipped him. When Did I? You, when you hit him, your pole went down. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. You still got your mantle? Yeah. See, that's for all you at home to think it's real easy, right? You see all the poles and you think, wow. It's not easy. You gotta put everything together, man. But when you do it, the, the feeling of accomplishment is awesome. You gotta come straight up with that hook set every time. But you know, you, you can get away with it with a smaller fish, but these bigger fish with their mouths so tender and they have such a mass and so much weight and so powerful with their fins and tail, you know, if you don't get it in the meat part, the bone part of them, you know, they're gonna rip it out. Fish, fish, this right one? there, get him. He buggy whipped him again. Yes, and a good one too, isn't he? He's a good one. Got him. Yeehaw, Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, he's nice, isn't he? Oh, my fish. goodness. But I did buggy whip him, didn't I? You buggy whipped him. You're lucky you got him. You got him in that hard part of the mouth. Oh, look at that bounce out. That was fate. That one, wasn't it? First one for me in Mississippi in 2013. Look at the belly again. Again, like Tim said earlier with the other fish, you can take some nice pictures, and let these fish go, because they're just a fantastic resource to make us happy, feed us, but you gotta respect it, seriously. Let some of the bigger females go. You're gonna catch all kinds of males and smaller fish that are great to eat, but think about the future. But for you, hey, little fatty, you go in the live well for a while, and they'll let you go, okay? Beautiful. Here's your goat. You know one thing that always fascinates me, I tell you, fishing with Tim or Kyle or Jackie, it's just a professionalism to how to find crappie. You just got it dialed in. It doesn't matter what lake it is, what technique or presentation. If there's crappie there, they're going to find them. Here we go, folks. Man your positions. Look for bites. Grab your poles. We're back on the road. Oh! oh. On the middle rig, too? No, nope, jig. Man, why am I wow. missing it? That was a good bite, too. Dang, that's a good hook set, that's uh -huh. a good bite. I should have had that fish. There he is. You come back and eat anyway. <laughs> and look at it, another plate. <laughs> I missed that fish on that other hook, on that other jig. 
and he come back and ate the double minnow rig with the pink and black on it. A little stub, little uh, shed pole, new bait. He eat it too. It's a good one, real nice one. Just learning that, you know, it's been a long winter for me getting a 14 or foot, 16 foot rod yeah. set and then lean to be able to pull back to net in the real system to it, boy. It can be frustrating for guys who don't know. It's oh, like, yeah. boy. you know, a 14 foot pole is hard to handle, but when you go to a 16 foot pole and today, you know, we was fishing waters that was uh, eight, eight and a half foot deep, and we was fishing six, seven foot deep. You know, you got a 16 foot pole and you got six, seven foot of line out. You know, it's hard to get that fish back into the, yeah, man. you know, you got a 10 foot net. Get it, get it. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh yeah. He's a monster. Look at him. Get the net. Get him in the net, baby. Oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. Oh yeah. Hey. Whoa. Get out, crappie. Look at that baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tim. That's a big one, isn't it? made up for it. Look what a fish. Yes. He's mad too. Yes. Got him in a good spot too, eh? Mm -hmm. There's out. Thank you, sir. And put that back in here. Man, oh man. Now you know why I come to Mississippi. <laughs> I can't beat it, man. Tim, another female, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We'll take some pictures, like you said. Let these beauties go. So they can go back and more, make, make some more babies. Oh, lordy. Wow. Look at the thickness of that back. Look at that. It's almost like a bass. Look at it. Big mouth on him. And pulling that minnow. But I was lucky. I got him in the hard spot. You get him in the soft spot, and they break your heart. You know why? Because they come off. Get them in the hard spot, they come in the boat. Pictures. Go, go, go see your girlfriends. See how fast the game can change? I was almost at the point of crying, missing some, hitting them, missing them. Tim's boom, boom, boom like this. I'm just grabbing the net. Now I got a couple. Now I feel all good again. Let's get some more. And the excitement when you see that big thing, eh? Yeah. Starts thrashing on the surface and you think, oh my God, got to get him in. But sometimes it's worse trying to rush him. Yeah. Hey? Eh? The main thing, you know, you just got to keep attention on the pole, keep, you know, Gotta keep attention on that fish work because if he flops and gets that loose, yes. he's gonna throw it out of his mouth. Yeah. You know, they're similar. These big crappie, like you saw today, they all come to the top and they're similar to a bass. You know, they're gonna come to the top, they're gonna move that head around and try to throw that big jig out of the mouth. Fish. Oh, he's a crappie. He's a slabby. Look at that minnow sticking out of his mouth. It's on no fire tiger with a pink head. It's a crappie. You got him in the boat. That's what matters, Tim. You do the pleasures. Oh, shaking like a bass. You know, you're doing pretty good when those look kind of, I shouldn't say small, but smaller. Anywhere, that's a good crappie. But in Mississippi, just not big enough, but you're a good fish for slabs. Look at that. Nice big fillet eating fish. Look at the big tail on that thing. You wonder where to get those power, eh? Those power runs. Look at all the fins. Nice. You know, we were sitting there fishing. We was catching good fish. Then all of a sudden, Carl's rod tip went down, and he said, I got a good one. And I looked over there, and it looked like a hubcap in the water. And I run and got the net, and we scooped it up, and it was a monster. It was the biggest fish he'd caught in his life. Weighed 277. It was a special moment. Oh, big, oh. big one. Oh. oh, boy. Tim, look at the size of this thing. Yo, oh. baby! <laughs> Ooh, uh oh, that's gonna push three pounds, that, baby. Come on, three really? pound. Oh my goodness, man! Don't push it. The line went screaming, Tim, screaming, like. Arr! Oh man, you got these custom jigs. They are a killer. Look at that. He was never coming out, was he? Oh, wow. Let's put that away over here. Let's have a look at the slab. Tim, you know what, buddy? I've been watching you raise your lines up a bit. 
and I raise that up. Look at that. Seriously. How That's big is sick. that crappie? That's sick. Okay. Let's check him. See how okay. close we got. Get him down here. We don't want him to flop over. Two seventy two seventy five. Two and three quarter pounds. Look at that thing. Look man. what a hole. Let me look, look at, at that in his mouth. Look at that. <laughs> wow. My biggest crappie of my life. Seriously, look at it. Look how big that is. Even compared to my head. How wide it is. How thick the back is. Oh yeah, man. That is truly amazing. What it's a, a specimen. It's a freak. It is. <laughs> I, I never thought of any species that could inspire me to go fishing more than bass, but these things, they're right there. Let's put her in there, let her swim. Wow, it's a critter. Go on, girl. Right That's on. A big one. Oh, woo! Talk about excitement. Big crappie, Lake Washington, my biggest of my life. 277, almost three pounds crappie. That's like a bass. I can't wait to come back. <laughs>Pretty good average, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I'd say. Great average. Look at that thing. That's quite the crappie. Quite He's the crappie. Eater. Eight pound, pound quarter. Pretty good eating, wouldn't good, you say? Yeah, it's good fillet fish. Yes, sir. Look at that. Good fillet fish. Fillet today. Go on in there, boy. Go see some of your friends. Go visit the big ladies in the live well. Gonna take some and let them go. You know what? We got a little while left to go. It's getting on early in the afternoon. The wind's picking up a bit, but it just persevere, the right equipment, and sticking it out, figuring it out, and doing it. I don't know how many bites we probably missed just getting the back end and missing those fish, eh? All right. On we, a calm day. We missed almost probably as many as we caught. Yeah. But that, I mean, that goes along with fishing for big fish, you know. If we would have wanted to fish for small fish, we'd have had a hook and a minnow and, you know, been been not fishing with bigger baits like we was. But, you know, we were looking for big fish and big bites. And that just goes along with catching big fish. You're yes, going to miss some of them. Yep. Hunting down the big ones. And it's worth it, you and know. You, you know, just like the, the point two to point three speed, I mean, you got to find those little tricks that makes a difference in your your technique and the guy next to you is just trolling, you know, keeping a steady speed to say 0.5 or 0.4. Uh, yeah. Today it was just that little trigger that when we stopped and when we took off and then we that speed, it triggered that bite immediately. Yes. Get him. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah. Real good one. Oh lordy. Huh? It went slack, Tim. Look what a big. <laughs> Wow, man. Whooping them bacon, Look at that. boys. Whooping them. Look at that. You talk about keeping the tension on. Tim gave me a verbal spanking. Man, Look at that. what a pretty hey. fish. Woo. I love crappie. <laughs> Isn't that a plate? Beautiful. Hey. Wow. Beautiful. Look at the mouth. Tell me that thing can't eat. Big thick back, look at that thing, man. Beautiful, big fins. To me, they look so much like big saltwater fish. You know, the big fins and pearl, live well pictures, and a good old release. Thank you, Mississippi. You know why? Mississippi produces mutant-sized crappie. Because that's what that is, that's a mutant. 
in the box. Go visit your girlfriends. That one, I didn't miss. You know what I seen, Tim? I seen slack go like this, dong, and stay slack. He showed me two, three years ago how, no matter what it is, grab the rod. You know, they always talk about it in bass fishing. Swing and miss, who cares? But you just gotta get the train of the eye. You know, it's been a long winter, I've been home, you know. But getting out there and trying not to miss those bites by paying attention, watching it, even in the wind, catching crappie. Love it. Let's keep going. Good job. Awesome, man. <laughs> Bang. The day's done. We had a great day on the water, you know, even battling the wind and everything. But we, we concentrated on these fish. We caught good fish. You know, I called Carl. He come in here from Canada a long way, brought his film crew, film guy in. And anytime you put the camera in a boat, it makes it difficult to catch fish for some reason. But anyway, we went out, stuck with it, made a good show, got some big fish. Well, that was something else. Lake Washington used to be the best kept secret from these boys in Mississippi. Not anymore. This lake is alive with lots of fish, big fish, and some giants. Listen, on behalf of Tim and myself, thanks for watching. We're going to see you next time, either in Mississippi, Alabama, Ontario, who knows where. With the crappie are biting and they're big, that's where we're going to go so you can go. Thanks for watching. Crappie Kings Television, in association with Art Rule the Water, BM Poles, wherever fishing takes you, Roadrunner Fishing Lures. Visit us at crappiekings.com.